Hello everyone, in this tutorial you will learn how to add planar reflection to your project. You can use this technique to create mirrors or partially reflective flat surfaces. In general, there are three techniques to implement planar reflection. The first one is screen space reflection. The second is planar reflection using oblique projection. The third technique, and the one that we will be implementing in this tutorial, is planar reflection using the stencil buffer. In this part, you will learn how to mirror the camera. So, let's get started. First, download the projects from the link provided in the description. You can also use your own projects if you like. Open sample scene. What we will do in the first step is to mirror the camera along the floor. Create a new script and name it Planar Reflection Manager. Attach the script to the main camera and open it. Create a new camera. We will use it to mirror the main camera. We want to control when this camera is going to render, so let's disable it. Create a new variable to hold the reference to the main camera. I just want to avoid calling camera.main every frame. Create a new function, name it render reflection. All the logic that will handle rendering the reflection will go into it. Let's first start by copying the values of the main camera into the reflection camera. Render reflection has to be called each frame. What we want to do is to wait for the main camera to finish rendering the scene and then call render reflection to create a reflection. Fortunately, Unity already provides a function named on post render that will get called after the camera finishes rendering the scene. In our case, this function will get called after the main camera finishes rendering the scene because this script is attached to it. Create the function on post render and then call render reflection. Let's now check Unity. As you see, we created a new camera that's an exact clone of the main camera. This camera will render nothing on screen because it's disabled. The next objective is to mirror the camera along the Y axis of the floor. Create a new game object, name it the reflection plane. This will hold the reference to the floor. We will set this game object later from Unity. Each camera has a forward and up vector that are stored in word space. We also want to store the position in a temporary variable. To make mirroring along the floor easier, we have to first transform the position, camera forward vector and camera up vector to the floor space. The normal vector of the floor game objects is aligned with the y-axis, 
So all what we have to do to mirror our camera is to negate the y coordinate of our vectors. Now we have to transform our vectors back towards space. Set reflection camera position and rotation. The first parameter to the lookout function is the camera target. This is simply the camera position plus the camera direction. Set the reflection plane game object to public, then go to Unity to assign the floor game object to it. Let's now run Unity to check if everything is working as expected. You can see that the scene is mirrored in the reflection camera preview. As you can see, the reflection camera is mirrored correctly. We will end the first part of this tutorial here. Don't forget to leave your feedback and subscribe. See you in the next part.